Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to load a custom template in Bree software. Now before we do that, we need your custom template. Now this one here is my custom template. It is saved in a PNG file. Okay, and next what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, what I like to do, all EZP customers have access to the thumb drive. Um, in there you will find a folder that says standard uh, for photos 4x6. I like to keep a copy of this on my desktop just so that I can have it there as a master folder. And then from there just you know copy, paste it. Um, now that I have a copied version, I'm just going to go ahead and rename that to the name of my party. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that. And then it'll show every single thing that I need. to run a full functional photo booth system. Okay, next what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my folder. Now if I leave my file name as this, Breeze Software will not read it. So always make sure you change the name to Overlay. And that's if you're using an overlay profile, which this one is. Okay, now that I have that in there, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and now I'm ready to open Breeze System. Alrighty, so now that I've opened Breeze System, I'm going to go to File, Photo Booth Settings, I'm going to Load, and I'm going to go to Desktop, pick the folder I was using, Open, and I want to upload the Blue Curtain Profile. So open, perfect. Next step, I'm going to go to these three little dots here, photo images folders. I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder that I had created on the desktop, <clears throat> which is this one. Hit OK. Next, I'm going to go to custom layout. Perfect. You don't have to touch anything here. Go to preview. And as you can see here, this is the layout of the actual print. Now let's go ahead and click down and hold. Looks like everything's good, even everything's within the frame, perfect. So this is what it's going to look like when it prints. That's exactly what we want. Hit OK. Go to Output Settings, Copy. This is You could change the file name to whatever you want. And I want to copy a JPEG folder to this specific folder, but I also want to make another one in there so that all of my copies can go there. Hit OK, OK, save, yes, I wish to save the printer settings, yes, I want to replace it, OK. Lastly, we want to just double check your printer setup to make sure that it's the right printer and make sure the advanced feature, the two inch cut, is enabled. In this case, it is enabled. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, OK, OK. Now you're set to go ahead and take a couple pictures and print it out. OK, this ends our tutorial today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment below. And don't forget to share and rate this video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.